Hey guys, uh, it's Tim here. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to block uh, cryptocurrency jocks from uh, crypto exchanges like uh, Binance, BigMax, uh, etc. on MT5. Uh, why MT5? Uh, essentially, MT5 has been around for uh, 10 years and offers uh, many tools and facilities for rapid development and testing of trading markets. Um, so probably, um, MT5 is uh, the best choice for you to rapidly uh, develop and test your cryptocurrency strategies. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, first of all, you got to download uh, free MT5 platform uh, by clicking on the link below the video and install it. Uh, having done that, then open the MT5. And uh, secondly, you got to download uh, the EA, the Cryptocurrency Charts uh, Manager EA, also by clicking on uh, one of other links below the video. Uh, unzip the file and uh, put it under working directory of MT5 platform. So uh, you go to your MT5 platform, you click on file, open data folder, and click on MQL file and Xbooks, and you copy the cryptocurrency jobs manager EA in here. So far, so good. Now, uh, get back to your MT5 uh, platform and uh, right click, right click on the market watch uh, window and um, hide all the forex currency symbol. So you just open uh, one of forex window, for example, Euro USD. Okay, so I will be open here. Um, then you go to tools and you go to options and click on expert advisors tab and enter uh, Binance uh, web links where the EA can access to uh, its API. So you keep you keep entering uh, the links from you know different exchanges that you want to uh, access. Um, okay, the jobs. Okay, having done that, click on OK. So far, so good. Now, um, just open Navigator window. So uh, you click on View, and you see Navigator here. Just click on here. Okay. All right, now what we're going to do, we're going to um, upload uh, Cryptocurrency Jocks Manager on the Jocks. Click OK. And this is what you see um, for the control panel. So it changed. You click on this and you will see the pop up uh, window which shows you know, uh, different crypto changes. You, you can select one of them. Of. For this demo, I'm going to select Binance uh, Crypto Exchange. Okay, so if, if you cannot uh, select it, you can type in the name of uh, exchange. Okay, I can type in Binance and ticker so you can enter the name of uh, crypto exchange clicker, for example, for Binance. Uh, so basically, you just open the website of Binance and go to markets and you see a list of uh, tickers. For example, if I want to open uh, Bitcoin charts, uh, BTC, USDT, okay, so this ticker name, B sorry, I got to enter Binance again, so this one. So you got to enter. Um, in the upper and lower uh, capitals. Yeah. Okay. And go to ticker. So B, DC, USDT. 
Now from dates, uh, you can enter at the dates where EA is actually uh, will download historical blocks from the date that you enter. So if I want to download, let's say from uh, the year 2017, I enter 2017, uh, January 1st, and tick updates. So this is actually the number of seconds that uh, the AI you know, request uh, new data from the exchange. So the minimum is one second. Uh, some of you out there might not need uh, one second updates. For example, if you trade uh, the markets on higher time frames, for example, one hour, then you don't need to update every one second. You, you might choose, uh, let's say, uh, one minute which actually is, um, you know, make your computer run faster and you don't bombard, you know, the uh, crypto exchange. Um, if you request uh, many times per second, then they might ban you from access, right? And for example, in this uh, example, I update every tick for every one second. Alright, so having done that, click on open chart and you see the uh, control panel will update the status. So, uh, Bitcoin's USDT chart is already opened and you see here. And the EA actually keeps updating live uh, data and you see, you see the ticks, you see the tick data keep updating. And you go back to control panel and you see um, it actually updates um, downloading of historical bars. So it keeps updating um, the time. All right. Um, let's say we want to open another ticker. Let's go back to here. I want to open uh, Ether USDT. So basically, you just enter. ETH USDT and click on open charts. All right, so this is Ether USDT charts are already open. Okay, and the EA keeps uh, downloading the uh, X uh, historical bars. Okay, let's say do another uh, ticker. Let's say I want to open um, Litecoin, okay? So LTC. So LTC USDT. All right, the JAX is already open here. All right, so uh, I think uh, that's that's all about it. And for um, for subsequent version releases, uh, I keep adding uh, new crypto exchanges. So probably you just comment below uh, which crypto exchanges that you want me to to put in. Okay. Um, thank you very much for watching. And if you are interested in uh, Crypto Job Manager, you can contact me uh, by looking at the details uh, below the video. Okay. So bye for now.